Hi everybody, I'm James from SEO Desk. Made the decision today to wear a red shirt. Notice that all my other videos, there's a navy blue jumper going on. So just to show everyone that I do actually have other clothes, we thought we'd change that top uh, just for everybody there. So today we're gonna to talk about Google Plus. Um, and first off, we're gonna talk about what Google Plus is, how to set it up, things to include in your Google Plus, and what updates you should put on your Google Plus account as well. So that's really, really important stuff. So. Firstly, what is Google Plus? Google Plus is Google's answer to Facebook. So it's been around a few years now. Google in the past has tried to launch various social networks that didn't actually succeed. However, Google Plus looks like the one that's actually gonna be their first success in the social networking arena. So if you have any Google accounts at the moment, the chances are you already have a Google Plus account. However, you may not know that and you probably aren't using it at the moment. So if you have a YouTube account, a Gmail account, um, a Google Analytics account or an AdWords account, if you log into one of those, you'll see that from that, you can actually get to your Google Plus account. So your Google Plus account will look very, very similar to your Facebook account. It's a social network. So the point is you will put photos on there, you'll share posts, etc, etc. So that's in a nutshell what Google Plus is. Um, and it's really important to get involved in Google Plus nowadays. So Google is moving this data into their search algorithms now. So anyone that you are friends with or that are in your circles, if they have a business or service or product, they will start to show in your search results. So if you're an estate agent in Putney, for example, and you, um, well, and your friends did a search for estate agent Putney and they had you in their Google Plus circles, they would get you in their search results on page one. So that's why it's important to get there. How do you set it up? So setting up Google Plus is really, really straightforward. You literally go to google.com forward slash plus forward slash business, and it will guide you through how to set it up. It's absolutely straightforward. If you set up a Facebook account or any other online equivalent, Twitter, etc., you'll be absolutely fine setting it up. You just literally fill in the boxes with the information that, that it asks for. So really, really easy, straightforward stuff. Things to include in your Google Plus. So there's loads of different things that people can include in there. Lots of people put um, information on their business, which is very important. But we're going to quickly run through the most important elements that you should have included in your Google Plus account. So photos. Social is really, really about sharing photos and experiences online. So get some photos of work that you've done, projects that you're involved in. If you're an estate agent, you could list houses that you've got for sale. People like visual stuff on these search engines, on these social networks, sorry. So it's really, really vital that you get as many photos as you can. And keep those photos updated on a regular basis. And because most of you guys are small businesses, it's often better to have photos that are sometimes a little rough around the edges. You could take a photo with an iPhone and upload it straight from your iPhone to your Google Plus account with their app or any Android device as well will allow you to do that. Descriptions. It's massively important for you guys to describe your business as well as you can on your Google Plus account. So get as much information about your business in there. How long have you been trading? What's your unique selling point, etc., etc. So there's an opportunity for you guys to let Google know and users know what you guys do. So the more precise the description, the more the customers will understand what you do. Video is really, really taking off now online as many of you have seen. So the second largest um, search engine in the world is actually uh, YouTube rather than Bing or Yahoo. So it's massive and gets billions and billions of searches every single week. So by uploading video to your Google Plus, you're just gonna engage your, your users more um, and that's important that they've got a better experience when they go there. So if you've got any video of any projects you're doing, if uh, use a estate agent again, if you have a, a tour of a house on a video, that's a great place to put it up there. Include it on your website as well, obviously, but if you can include it on your Google Plus account, that's really, really helpful as well. Cover image. So the cover image is similar to the header image on Facebook. So lots of people on the, on the header image will, on their Facebook account might have a picture of a holiday snap or something along those lines. Cover image is similar to that as well. 
With small businesses, I always suggest that you get your phone number in there, your website address, and your address. You can include that in your cover image. And if you, if you know a graphic designer, it's really easy for them to add that stuff to any image that you choose. <coughs> It saves people digging around through your profile to find that image because if they're looking for your business and the first thing they find is your Google Plus page, often all they're really interested in is either calling you, finding your address to put the postcode into the sat nav or looking at your website. So if you get that information in there, that's going to be really useful for users of your Google Plus page. Keywords and phrases. So you can put some keywords and phrases and trigger words that ideally you'd like to rank for in there and descri that describe your business. So that will help Google understand what your page is about. You could also do that in the description as well. So if you're an estate agent in Putney, then get that phrase into your Google Plus account as well. So that will help you possibly rank in the search engines for that. And it will link back to your website because you're going to put your website in there as well. So it's effectively a decent link back to your site. So make sure you get those key phrases in there correctly. Make sure you select the correct business category as well. So be as focused and razor sharp on the category you select. You don't want a really broad category on there. So you need to tell Google exactly what you do and that will allow you to show up in the search for much more precise key phrases and searches and people that are looking exactly for your service. Your address is massively important. So Google Plus now links up to Google Maps, which is their historic product, or it used to be called Google Places. It's changed a few times. So get your address in there and then you will start to show on the map listings in Google as well. So it's really, really easy to do that. Google will send you a postcard in um, via the mail um, and you put a code into your Google Plus account once you have that to confirm your identity and who you are. Your contact number obviously is really important. So we've said to get that into the cover image, but you can also put your obviously your phone number into your Google Plus data as well. So get the primary business phone number in there, then it makes it really easy for customers to find your details and call you. If they're using an iPhone or Android device as well, they can click to call your business, which is really vital to those guys to make it easy for them to use and call your business and get your, the, your website address in as well. So loads of Google Plus accounts don't, don't have a link to their website. It's so easy, just put that information in there. Then the people can find your website and more information on your business, which is really important for you guys. So once you've got this set up, lots of people make mistakes on social media and put absolute junk out there. Firstly, it's important that you do update your Google Plus on a regular basis. That's really, really important. But when we say regular, we're not talking about daily or hourly. We've all got friends on Facebook that do 10, 20 status updates, literally telling us what they have for breakfast. These are business profiles. People don't care what you've had for breakfast. So it's really important that you get, they have to be professional, but also show that you're humans and you've got a bit of character to your business as well. So product images, are, um, project images are important as well. So if you're working on a project, if you're a builder, let's see some of the work you've done. Show us before and after shots and progress shots of that project. It's interesting for people, especially building projects. People wanna see what's happening to the house or whatever you're working on and they like to see progress and it shows again that you're a real company. They can see the quality of your work and that you transfer transform maybe a wreck into an absolute fantastic place. So that can help you get work. So make sure you get any images of projects that you're working on included into your Google Plus. Charity work. It's great if you guys do work with any charities and that's one thing that here at SEO Desk we're looking to do in December. So if you guys do charity work, then let people know about that. And obviously you may have a small update on your site, but make it people aware on the social networks what you're doing and maybe they'll offer some money as well and support you guys so if you have a just giving page you can include a link say we're doing this marathon run etc and you may get some more sponsorship from your google plus so always talk about anything charitable you guys are doing it makes your business look better and, and also you may get some extra sponsorship that you didn't know about as well promotions so if you have promotions, it's a great place to let people know on the social networks. However, don't throw these down people's throats. You don't need to keep updating promotions weekly or daily. If you do it infrequently, then it has a much bigger impact 
to the user. So maybe once a month, if you have a promotion for a week, then let those customers know that. Some people won't go to your website on a regular basis, but they will see you guys on Google+. So get involved in that. Company updates. So lots of companies will merge with other companies. Um, they'll get new members of staff. Let people know on your social networks what's happening in your business. So if something particularly great's happened, let people know. If there's a day that maybe your business is closed and it's not a normal day for you to be closed, maybe there's something like in particular going on a parade or something in your town that you can't open the business on that particular day. Let people know on your social networks. It's a lot quicker than updating your website. So it's a good way to let people know what's going on. Seasonal activity as well is great on uh, these social networks. So lots of people around Halloween, bonfire night and Christmas, etc. Maybe they'll change their cover photo so it has a seasonal impact to that user. Um, and you could maybe do seasonal promotions as well. So at Christmas, let people know that, well, wish people a happy Christmas and stuff like that. So any seasonal stuff that you can do um, is really, really great for your business as well. Events. So if you follow me on Google+, and I'll put a link in the video description below, you can see anywhere that I'm doing talks. So I will update my events on there, and I'll do this on Facebook as well, etc. But it will allow you guys to find out where I'm speaking and, and what I'm talking about in those sessions, and maybe it could be a good event for you to go to as well. And likewise for you guys, maybe you're exhibiting at the Ideal Home Show or something along those lines. Let people know the dates of that, what times you're gonna be there. If you're doing a talk, let them know which theater it's in and stuff like that. Make it as easy as you can for your customers to come and see you. So that's a great tip for um, Google Plus as well. Information. So you can update customers with um, industry-related information. So estate agents could let the customers know that house prices, for example, in London in November 2013 um, or October have gone up 10%. So that's great to let people know what's happening in your marketplace. There could be new laws coming out if you're an estate agent, stamp duty threshold might change. So let people know that that information is there and they can find out things about the industry from your Google+. Plus. They don't always have to go to other news sites, etc. Have some fun on your Google+. Plus. So Google Plus is not all about being the, the most professional company in the world. You can have some fun. So some people will put pictures of if they've gone out for a team building exercise, go-karting or their Christmas party or something along those lines. So we will do that on SEO Desk. We, we'll put, um, sometimes when we do exhibitions, we have a beer afterwards and we'll put photos of us interacting with our competitors and stuff like that. It just makes your business just seem more natural and human. So they can see what you guys do a little bit out of work. But obviously you need to tone that down a bit if you go out and have drinks and it's absolutely crazy. You don't wanna be uploading those sorts of pictures there. So, But do have a bit of fun on there. An example of fun is children in need, a lot of people will dress up in pajamas for work. So if you guys do that, get some of those photos on your social media. It's a great laugh and people will get involved in that and you'll be more likely to get likes and shares and follows, etc., on those kind of updates than just telling people that house prices have gone up 10%. And ask open questions. So the whole point of social media is it's social. You want people to interact with your business. So. If you can think of some open questions that will get interaction going, get a discussion going on your social platform, then that's really, really helpful. So, and that will build your social profile. So what will happen is if somebody comments on an update you've done, their friends will see that as well. So it gives their friends an opportunity to have a look at your social profile and maybe follow you um, and join your circles on Google Plus as well. So while Google Plus is not as big as Facebook at the moment, it's really, really, really important that you guys get involved. Google is here to stay, search and organic traffic is here to stay, and Google is ensuring that people are pushing their Google Plus account. So they will reward you for that. So you will start seeing, and you can see now, Google Plus pages do show up in the search engine results. So get yourself involved, it's really, really straightforward to do, and make sure you just update that regularly, so don't just leave it as a dead entity. There's a great tool, which I will put in the description of this as well, which is called hootsuite.com, 
and Hootsuite allows you to manage all of your social profiles in one go. So you can use Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Foursquare and update all of those profiles in one go, which is really, really helpful. So have a look at that. It's a free tool. There's a paid version as well. Um, and that may help you get all of your social activity in one place where you just have to do one update to all of your customers on all your social networks in one go. So I hope that gives you guys a bit more information on Google+. Plus. Our existing customers, we are actually creating Google Plus accounts for you at the moment. So you're gonna get the login details if you didn't already have a Google Plus. You'll get the login details emailed to you in the next few days and we will have a bit more information on how you can update that and more details on how you could use Hootsuite as well. So do take a look at that. It's really important that you guys start to engage with people on a social level as well because that does have a factor in the ranking algorithms on Google now. So I hope you found this video helpful and check back next week for some more. Thanks.